Hi, my name is Tank Kilini Joyce. And I'm Ben Young. Personal trainers at Surge Health and Fitness. Today I'll be instructing and teaching you key tips for the correct use of holding focus pads. Holding focus pads is something that takes a while to master, and as personal trainers we see a lot of incorrect technique. Firstly, to find your accurate distance for your partner. Can you please take a split stance or face stance, please? Thank you. With a front or leading hand, extend your front hand out at hot nose height. This is perfect for your basic front punches. Now take a look at how I turn the pad side on. This is for a lead hand hook. This is perfect. Not too far away and not too close. If positioned incorrectly, the tendons at the end of the rotator cuff, muscles can tear in either your or my partner's shoulders. This is extremely painful. Knowing the best distance for your partner will increase the likelihood of using more core strength, therefore creating a harder, more effective workout. Positioning of the focus pads is crucial. If not established correctly, you can injure your partner and yourself. For the most realistic location for the positioning of the hands, they should be on either side of your face, slanted about 45 degrees inwards. This is a great for the traditional jab cross combination, Making sure you stay focused and align yourself right in the middle of your hands. With your elbows tucked in, common mistakes are holding the pads too far away, turning them straight onwards and not holding them at the correct height, and not giving enough resistance back to your partner's punch. You could very easily dislocate your shoulder because the pads are in the incorrect position. Stoppage and retreat is a technique that takes lots of practice, and also a fair amount of strength in your shoulders and arms. Timing and anticipation of the movement of a full contact hit is something you will learn about your partner. Perfect. Before contact is made, you should have soft joints. What this means is stiff and contracted muscles under force will, from contact can be weakened and damaged over a course of time, and in just one hit can incur major injuries to your neck or shoulders. To help avoid this, as soon as contact is made, resist the force and continue back to the starting position. This is a quick motion. Adding boxing to your workout is a great way to enhance your training and can be used for an entire workout or added in between weight sets to enhance the cardiovascular output of your training session. Thanks again for tuning in and watching our weekly tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. Remember, next week another one of our personal trainers will be showing you another great fitness tip. 